So today we're looking at arithmetic sequences. Now an arithmetic sequence is a sequence of numbers where we're, it's increasing by the same amount every single time. For example, look at table A here. Notice as x is going up by 1, f of x is simply going up by 7. We're just adding 7 every single time to get the next number. All right, so that's what makes it an arithmetic sequence. All right, now we can write an equation for this pattern in two different ways. One of them is an explicit equation. All right, now for an explicit equation, since we're trying to calculate f of x, we'll start with f of x equals, and there's two things we need to know. What, what number does the sequence start at when x is zero? In this case, f of x starts at 2. So we'll say f of x equals 2. And then from there, we repeatedly add 7 to it. So we'll say 2 plus 7 times x. Because how many 7s we add to it will be based on what value of x we're looking for. All right? So f of x is equal to 2 plus 7x. There's your explicit equation. And we can use that equation to calculate any value of f of x. Now, the other kind of equation is a recursive equation. Now, a recursive equation is based on knowing the previous value. Okay? For example, in this sequence, let's say I wanted to know what f of 4 was. Let's say I didn't know this value here. All I would need to do is take the previous value, which is 23, and add 7 to it, and I'd know I'd get f of 4. So the recursive equation is based on knowing the previous number. Okay. Now, to write any recursive equation, again, we'll start with f of x. Okay. So any f of x we're trying to find. And like I said before, we need to know the previous value. So if f of x is the current one we're looking at, the one before it is going to be f of x minus 1. Now why f of x minus 1? Well let's say we were trying to find f of 4. Okay, Then the previous value would be f of 3. In other words, we'd take the x value and subtract 1 from it. So we'd have 1 smaller. All right. So this is the current one, this is the previous one. All right. Now, once we know the previous one, we simply add 7 to it. So this is a fancy way of saying that the current value is equal to the previous value plus 7. OK? Now, there's one more thing we need to know, though, because this is all great as long as we know the previous value. But we still need to know what number did it start at, all right? So we're going to have to put a comma there and include one more bit of information. In this case, our sequence at 0 started at 2. So in other words, f of 0 equals 2. And that is our whole recursive equation. f of x is equal to f of x minus 1 plus 7 and f of 0 is 2. So a recursive equation has to have that pattern that tells you how to calculate the value, but it also has to tell you where the sequence started at. OK, let's do another example so you can see it in action. OK, here we go. Table B. Notice this time, as x increases by 1, f of x is actually decreasing by 6 each time. OK, so writing the explicit equation, not too hard because f of x equals, we know it started at 40 when x is 0, and we're repeatedly subtracting 6, so minus 6x. There's your explicit equation. Okay. Now, for the recursive equation, again, we'll start with f of x. Now, to get any value of f of x, we take the previous value, so f of x minus 1, and then subtract 6 from it. All right, so there's the, the pattern part of our sequence. 
Now, put a comma there because we also need to say where the sequence started. When, F was zero, when x was 0, f of x was 40. There's our starting value. And that is our recursive equation. OK? So that is how to write an explicit and recursive equation for arithmetic sequences. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math and I will see you next time.